In order to light the blue LED, I need to construct a battery that generates more power. Whereas a four cell battery was enough to light the red one, I needed to make a stronger battery for my blue LED. So I made a battery made of six cells. So there are six sanded pennies, six soaked mat boards, and one intact penny on top. This battery generates over three volts. And so when I attach my blue LED, now it's powerful enough to light the blue light. My battery doesn't work. What went wrong? Well, there are a few things that can go wrong here. The first and most common is that you've created a short in your battery. That can happen in a couple of different ways. All of the ways are related to one map board square touching another. Electricity will take the path of least resistance. So if any of the map board squares are touching, then you will reduce the number of cells in your battery from four to three or two or one. And this battery will only light the red LED if it is a four cell battery. So if your map board squares were cut a little too big so that they're touching, that creates a short. If the map board squares are too wet and there's a drop of water that effectively creates contact between the two map boards, that will create a short. Maybe you're pressing down on your battery so hard, squeezing it until it works, you're squeezing a short into your battery. So relax, hold your battery loosely, and make sure none of the squares are touching. Another thing that can go wrong, you may have already noticed. If you get a penny made before 1982, you can sand forever and you will never find a zinc center. So make sure your pennies are made after 1982 and make sure you sand completely. If there's any copper left on the surface of this penny, it will reduce the power of your battery. Finally, LEDs only work in one direction. So if it doesn't work in one direction, flip it around and make sure you have the long positive leg to the top of your intact copper penny. Thank you.